Hello people of Earth and um, it's been quite a while since I've uploaded any games. It is a brand new series that I'm very excited to do. It's a brand new idea that I had. Um, it, is, it is what I would like to call the Australian Challenge. Basically what I will do, I will make the best Australians ever basically. Um, in the transfer window, I can only buy Australian players. And for the Youth Academy, I can only send me scout to Australia. Obviously, I don't have to sell anybody that's not Australian, because I quite simply do not have enough Australians to do that. I'm not obliged to play them all. However, I can. <laughs> but I cannot sell any Australians. They have to stay. Um, for international management, the only country that I can accept an offer for is Australia. So I can only become the Australian ma international manager simply because this ex this Australian challenge career mode is based around them. And eventually the goal is to make them really good and eventually be able to become serial winners hopefully to maybe win the world cup at one point and win many many games anyway whilst that talking has been going on we've simmed one game against Bartak Moscow we won that 4-0 got those training sessions all Australian boys only Australians are going to be on training sessions for the whole career mode however long I do this and as you can see Tom Rodjic is one guy that I bought He's a good player, well he's decent enough, so I bought him, I thought he would be good for the team, and yeah, um, Armani, he has decent potential, he has 82 potential, with training he can exceed that, so I could have a very good Australian player there, waiting for me, well I'd bought him, but, right, and Matthew Ryan, I'd chosen Brighton because of him, um, he'll be getting trained be, be, um, his potential is 81 with training he could exceed that so hope, hopefully I can have a I don't know maybe an 84 rated goalkeeper in between the sticks for Australia who knows Hope it's going to be very hard to get a striker because there isn't any good strikers or good potential strikers for Australia so hopefully one can come through the ranks, but sometimes it can prove very difficult to get a striker from the youth academy. So getting a striker will be a struggle. So hopefully I'm going to have to bank on Lucardia turning up until then. Who's only got 80 potential, I think, at 23 years old. So it's going to be a very difficult challenge, is this. It is a challenge that I am much excited for and I am up for the up to the task that as you can see I bought Trent Sainsbury he won't be starting he's a backup player but he's a decent enough for this kind of level his potential is 76 being 25 it's not going to be that high so don't know why he's important because well he's not really going to play too much unless we get an injury at centre back he is our third best rated centre back so he will do in case one of the centre backs aren't there so we're just finalising the deal and he is playing for Brighton now that De Silva guy he has unfortunately only just joined his club he also has 82 potential because of that potential I was going to sign him as well I'm going to sign him in January Aaron Moy he's a he's a decent solid centre mid for for Australia I was going to buy him hoping the game would would recognize that he was there last year although it was only on loan but no it won't recognize that so I'm going to have to wait until January to buy Aaron Moy for my team because that is what I plan to do. He'll be a very good for the squad. If ever a player gets injured, he can get stuck in there or he can just start. 
because he might well be better than what I've got now because he is a good player and I can trade him and make him even better then again at the age of 26 at the start of this game I think it's not really worth it anyway this this is the final we're against Bartek Moscow again and what happens in the final oh, we go and lose oh great even though we did beat them 4-0 oh, how great is that anyway player development from these guys so yeah um, we have Matthew Ryan going up to a 79 hopefully that helps um, so my scout is 5 star judgment with 4 star experience I was hoping for 5 star experience so I can get more players from him but it's still decent and I do get a couple from here so I sign this guy and then this guy because if they've ever got a potential where the highest potential is 94 I'm always going to sign them whatever the rating is because the potential they will increase when they're in the youth academy and when I promote them I'll be training them to make them even better maybe even train them and double train them to increase them faster and here we go we've got the first game of the season and this is against City my favourite team City but this is against City it's going to be a big test for the Australians that I'm starting in this game let's just hope well Matty Ryan and go Tom Rogers can turn up in this match with those are the Australians that I'm playing today so we're on the ball and we're trying to attack with Tom Rogic, as I've just mentioned. We're going for the attack and I thought to just knock it in. No, no, oh, that's good defending. It's alright. Um, but it was cleared. Sane. And Sa Sane being a bit unlike himself, getting tackled there. And Tom Rogic, what do you know, in Australia, and he turns up. Well then, he's had a good start to his life in the Premier well, League the and that's what you want to see 1-0 Brighton well, that the that Australian logic goes and scores the goal and that's and what we like to see so the first goal it's 1-0 so we're beating City 1-0 and well and we're well going to be under a bit defensive oh, for the rest of the game a couple of saves from, from Matthew Ryan just to show that he's a decent keeper Although they were easy to save those shots. Rogic. And then just to save from the net keeper. The I think that's Claudio Bravo in there. Somehow he saved that. Claudio Bravo, who Manchester God City knows how the hell he saves. Saves any half. shots. He's absolutely fucking mental. If you Sorry. watch the um, home game against gross. Brighton, where we won 3 the ball to its mate And Brighton's goal. Again. It was absolutely fucking oh. mental. Oh, he's a mental keeper. He's, he's, he's a you just don't know what's going on in his head. It's a surprise he's actually at the Black save City. That he was actually at Barcelona. Because his style is so risky. In the wide areas, and he's, got there. he's just can't get enough of a reward. It could be a chance. Enough. That is a supreme save. Yeah. Say that and he just makes that save. Which it's a tactical substitution for the losing team here. Coming on to the pitch. Trying, oh, no scraps for the trying to, to pressurise for the second time. goal. The and then we're, we're getting near to the Fernandinho. end of the game and they're on the attack. And then I'm, I'm not, and at this they point I'm almost it. shitting my pants. Back hoping that they don't score. They get the cross in. My keeper misses it. They get an open oh, net really and hits the side netting. The and the game finishes. I well and truly shite my pants just then. When at the end of the game. I thought it was going to be a one-all draw and they go and put it wide of the post. <sighs> I was so scared just then. But here's the goal again, just in case you uh, want to see it again. <sighs> but man, that was that was that was a close call at the end of the game. But in but in the end I did deserve it because well look at this look at the amount of shots compared to the amount of shots they had. I did a lot better. For some reason, the left back got <sighs> a man of the match. <sighs> but whatever. We've got no final scores, which is a bit weird because we're on a Saturday. So there should be some available, but 
whatever. And here we go. We're going to the next play development, see if there's any increases. I think there is on this one, maybe. There is not. However, Armani will be getting close. And he should increase in the next one, if I remember rightly. And we're going into this game against Leicester. Now, this was in a very good game, from what I remember. Oh, and we and time it's out. here's the start of the game. Away oh, to City. Leicester. Yeah, tough, I mean, tough game. I mean, any Didn't game in the Premier League is tough. But, for some but away reason, to Leicester is never easy. It never has been easy and never will be. Has to be quick. Well, I don't there know we go. Stupidly give the ball That's away. And, um, well, what the hell is happening there? A massive deflection. Takes it into the top corner, out of the reach of Matty Ryan. Unable to save it because of that stupid deflection. And Leicester are beating me 1 0. Akazaki takes a shot and it was deflected. The Japanese. Uh, earlier incident, um, the driver. big deflection. Uh, well, that's the life yeah. of a defender. You try and put your body in the big way, but sometimes it ricochets right off. Like that, yeah. So the first goal, it's 1 0. Makes it 1 0 to Leicester. And here we are, an attack near it. The away. The problem with their and, and then Rodgers. <laughs> Who else at the moment? But Rodjic is um he's pretty good, isn't he? He seems pretty good. He seems to be liking the Premier League. Um yeah. He was a good signing. And he's actually quite fun to use, so it's not bad. Not bad. Well it is really game this on in this Australian match. challenge this might go better than I thought. However, it is difficult because well, they want to see this again, this goal. I can't sign like players like Brill, Donald, and Bolo. Both sides have scored here sign. now. Oh, I do have Lucario. I would have played him up front together, but you know I can't sign him because he's not Australian. I wish he was. You know, I'm sure Australians corner. would wish he's he was as well, so they would actually have a finisher. <laughs> well, everything to play for in the second but there's half. There's half time. At 1-1. One, one. At 1 apiece. Yeah, I certainly wish so, Alan, what he about was the first 45 minutes he's played on his debut today. He'll probably take all my budget. The opposition defence of anyway, half time, so one all, and into the second half. The Let's see how the second, second half goes. Can it go just like the first half? And we draw. Let's, Let's find out. And here we go, I'm making some substitutions. Going to bring on Armani for his debut. Proper's going to come on back from injury. He's been injured for six weeks. And then Sainsbury for his Premier League debut also for the guy who's on the yellow card so he doesn't get sent off. Here's Adrian Silva. That was my thinking. Kizaki. And here we go. He's late side. break for Leicester. And this time, well, I can't prevent the late goal. And, well and Leicester surely have to no, win. However, there's still time. To get a goal. time. All about Concentration for them now. Very late goal. It's a great moment for the goal scorer and for his team. It surely won the game in the game. dying moments. Oh, it must have. Kick off really good take as well. Didn't have much time in the box the there. Time. He's gone into some Armani traffic, but running the length of the pitch the and then passing it to Ischiedo who taps it in oh, and makes it 2-2 in the very last kick of the game. Oh my, I was jumping off my seat. I was excited. Oh. Mm. Mm. I was just really broken. hoping it would not hit the side side of side netting. Otherwise, I would be one. so pissed off if it here. had. Well, he because, away, well, well that would just not be happy. Here. But it finishes 2 2. Finish. A very good point. Well, a very it's lucky great point, great might I had. Got very, very lucky well, with that draw. And well, yeah, there we go. That was a draw, four points, two games. Australian Challenge has got off to a flyer. I would say it's gone off to better than I expected. Beating City for a start is unbelievable. And well, we're, not, we're obviously not going to play the Birmingham match now because as you can see the video is about to end. This has been a very fun time. The Australian Challenge has just begun. Eventually, I'll have a whole start in 11 of Australians. And well, here we go. Goodbye.